Yirmiyahu, Jeremiah 48. Against Moab, thus says Yahuwah Sevaoth, the Elohai of Yashereel. Woe unto Nevu, for it is spoiled. Kirith Yaim is confounded and taken. Mizgav is confounded and dismayed. There shall be no more praise of Moab in Chesban. They have devised evil against it. Come and let us cut it off from being a nation. Also you shall be cut down, O madmen. The sword shall pursue you. A voice of crying shall be from Chararim, spoiling and great destruction. Moab is destroyed. Her little ones have caused a cry to be heard, for in the going up of Lachith, continual weeping shall go up, for in the going down of Koran Yinim, the enemies have heard a cry of destruction. Flee, save your lives, and be like the juniper in the wilderness. For because you have trusted in your works and in your treasures, you shall also be taken and chemosh shall go forth into captivity with his priests and his princes together. And the spoiler shall come upon every city, and no city shall escape. The valley also shall perish, and the plain shall be destroyed. As Yahuwah has spoken, give wings unto Moab, that it may flee and get away, for the cities thereof shall be desolate, without any to dwell therein. Cursed be he that does the work of Yahuwah deceitfully, and cursed be he that keeps back his sword from blood. Moab has been at ease from his youth, and he has settled on his lees, and has not been emptied from vessel to vessel, neither has he gone into captivity, therefore his taste remained in him, and his scent is not changed. Therefore, behold, the days come, says Yahuwah, that I will send unto him wanderers that shall cause him to wander and shall empty his vessels and break their bottles. And Moab shall be ashamed of Kemosh, as the house of Yashara'el was ashamed of Beat el their confidence. How say ye, we are mighty and strong men for the war? Moab is spoiled and gone up out of her cities, and his chosen young men are gone down to the slaughter, says the king, whose name is Yahuwah Sevaoth. The calamity of Moab is near to come, and his affliction hastens fast. All ye that are about him bemoan him, and all ye that know his name say, How is the strong staff broken, and the beautiful rod? O daughter that inhabits Divan, come down from your glory and sit in thirst, for the spoiler of Moab shall come upon you, and he shall destroy your strongholds, O inhabitant of Ar'er. Rather, Yahuwah Sevaoth, chapter 3. Stand by the way and spy. Ask him that flees and her that escapes and say, What is done? Moab is confounded, for it is broken down. Howl and cry, tell ye it in Arnan, that Moab is spoiled. And judgment has come upon the plain country, upon Cholan and upon Yatsa, rather Yatsa and upon Mofaat, and upon Divan, and upon Nevu, and upon Beat Divlathaim, and upon Kiryathaim, and upon Beat Gamul, and upon Beat Baal Me'an, and upon Kiryoth, and upon Batsra, and upon all the cities of the land of Moab, far or near, The horn of Moab is cut off, and his arm is broken, says Yahuwah. Make ye him drunken, 
for he magnified himself against Yahuwah. Moab also shall wallow in his vomit, and he also shall be in derision. For was not Yashadael a derision unto you? Was he found among thieves? For since you spoke of him, you skipped for joy. O ye that dwell in Moab, leave the cities and dwell in the rock. Be like the dove that makes her nest in the sides of the hole's mouth. We have heard the pride of Moab. He is exceeding proud. His loftiness and his arrogancy and his pride and the haughtiness of his heart. I know his wrath, says Yahuwah, but it shall not be so. His lies shall not so affect it. Therefore will I howl for Moab. And I will cry out for all Moab. My heart shall mourn for the men of Kir, Cherez. O vine of Savam, I will weep for you with the weeping of Ya'azer. Your plants are gone over the sea. They reach even to the sea of Ya'azer. The spoiler is fallen upon your summer fruits and upon your vintage and joy and gladness is taken from the plentiful field and from the land of Moab. And I have caused wine to fail from the wine presses. None shall tread with shouting. The shouting shall be no shouting. For, rather, from the cry of Hezban, even unto El Allah, and even unto Yahats, have they uttered their voice from Soar, even unto Haran Aim, as a heifer of three years old. For the waters also of Nimrim shall be desolate. Moreover, I will cause to cease in Moab, says Yahuwah, him that offers in the high places and him that burns incense to his Elohim. Therefore my heart shall sound for Moab like pipes, and my heart shall sound like pipes, for the men of Kir Cheres, because the riches that he has gotten are perished. For every head shall be bald and every beard clipped. Upon all the hands shall be cuttings, and upon the loins sackcloth. There shall be lamentation generally upon all the housetops of Eth Moab, and in the, the streets thereof, for I have broken Moab like a vessel wherein is no pleasure, says Yahuwah. They shall howl, saying, How is it broken down? How has Moab turned the back with shame? So shall Moab be a derision and a dismaying to all them about him. For thus says Yahuwah, Behold, he shall fly as an eagle, and shall spread his wings over Moab. Kerioth is taken, and the strongholds are surprised, and the mighty men's hearts in Moab at that day shall be as the heart of a woman in her pangs. And Moab shall be destroyed from being a people because he has magnified himself against Yahuwah. Fear and the pit and the snare shall be upon you, O inhabitant of Moab, says Yahuwah. He that flees from the fear shall fall into the pit, and he that gets up out of the pit shall be taken in the snare. For I will bring upon it, even upon Moab, the year of their visitation, says Yahuwah. They that fled stood under the shadow of Chesban because of the force. But a fire shall come forth out of Chesban, and a flame from the midst of Sichan, and shall devour the corner of Moab, and the crown of the head of the tumultuous ones. Woe be unto you, O Moab. The people of Chemosh perishes, 
for your sons are taken captives and your daughters captives. Yet will I bring again the captivity of Moab in the latter days, says Yahweh. Thus far is the judgment of Moab.